First on Fox, it's a political dogfight, and now the lawyers are getting involved. The Republican Party of Florida circling the wagons around State Senator Lizbeth Benequisto. She's the president of the state Senate. She says she's open to the idea of running for a higher office, but she has not made any formal commitment to take on fellow Republican Trey Radel. Yet, a TV commercial is saying otherwise, and as Four in Your Corner's Warren Wright is finding out, party leaders want to shut this thing down. Warren? Well, Patrick, is the battle to replace Trey Radel tearing Florida's Republican Party apart? A big split is happening already, and some political experts say it's going to get nasty. Typical politician talking out of both sides of her mouth, playing fast and loose with the law. This ad claims State Senator Lizbeth Benequisto is talking out of both sides of her mouth. A well-funded political action committee is blanketing local airwaves. Running for Congress, pretending to run for re-election to the Florida Senate. Local political pundits like political science professor Peter Bergerson from FGCU says he's struck by the personal tone of the commercial. It's really hardball politics. Now the Republican Party of Florida is issuing this letter to local TV stations. Their attorney states the video contains false information and allegations, saying it's patently false because Benequisto has not filed for Congress. The letter goes Goes on to order TV stations that it must be immediately removed from your schedule. My response would be the ad is true. Anthony Farhad is the president of the committee behind the ad. Values are vital. Spending half a million dollars with special interest money that would be illegal in a congressional race. He says he's not pulling the ads and no TV stations have contacted him asking him to reconsider. It's great if she wants to participate. Um, our, our group just feels like she should do it by the same rules that everybody else is doing it. But to be fair, she hasn't declared that she's running. She hasn't publicly declared, correct. But I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty clear what the intentions are. After reviewing the cease and desist letter from the Republican Party of Florida, Dr. Bergerson says it's clear the establishment wants to protect Benequisto at any cost. I, I see a, a real uh, a political dogfight that uh, if this is the opening round, uh, it, it's going to get worse. Okay, well, Senator Benequisto's campaign manager told me that Elizabeth only filed for re-election to the state Senate. Anthony Parhut says he'll be watching, and so will we. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Warren.